All right, we're back. Okay, now I just got to remember where in the hell I laid that damn tool. Okay, guys. Oh. Thank you guys for the chance to watch me yank the tire off the truck. Weird. You guys did work on me. Forward. Hello? Oh, and if I got any you safety sallies out there going, oh my god, he's working on this without any, without a jack stand. It's done been installed. So no safety sally, go out there and tell me I'm doing this all wrong. So, fully on you. Alright. I put new brakes on this track. Take a ball joint off. Ball joint removal tool. Uh, tie rod too. I'll be back with the metric set of socks. And all everybody out there on YouTube that's done these, and y'all's are gonna say, "Oh, those are standard." Um. Well, and you guys have never really stripped one of these bolts out of it because uh, they're not standard. They're a metric pattern. The one thing I hate about Ford. Granted, everybody cusses this design. Wheel hub assemblies, wheel hub bearing assemblies. 
They're idiots. They don't like them. Well, let's put it this way. I ran older trucks. I ran newer trucks. My personal opinion on them is this is a decent design. Everything's components on this truck, on the front axle. Pretty well. You got your brake components, and then you got your wheel hub component. And I'm going to clarify with some of you guys out there. Some of the yo-yos out there put these stuff together. They call certain things your hub, and certain things that they don't need to be calling your hub. pull the caliper itself. You don't need to do half of the bullshit they say you need to. If you know how to do it. Well, you guys ain't figured out pretty soon that I've done a few. When I don't know what they call it. It's a twin piston caliper that's on these trucks. For all y'all that don't know that, well, that's what's on here. The twin piston caliper. It's a twin piston clear around. And before all you guys are going, oh, you're missing some parts and pieces. No, I'm not. This truck is a rear, rear ABS only true vehicle. My front axle is non ABS. And don't go on a limb trying to tell me that otherwise. I'm just going to tell you up front right now. I know, I've had this truck for a lot of years. I'll tell you right now, you take this to any, take this to any uh, shop. They're sitting there scratching their minds for three days trying to figure out what the God's name is. Well, what it is is people. I've had this truck in a parking lot, I've got to say. But yeah, I've had this truck in a few shops and one guy told me, oh, you need new front wheel hubs because you got the wrong hubs on the front of your truck. Well, no, I don't. He was just trying to con me out of some money that I did not have. What did that have done for us? Oh, I remember. I had the, uh, I had a chatter in my front pump. I had to get my, uh, Gears real on. I had to get my gears replaced. Went to find out my gears was nothing wrong with my gears. My damn differential was going out in front of this truck. That was a few thousand dollars I lost because of that. And uh, for y'all out there going to be sitting here asking me questions, going, well, why are you taking all these little screws out? Well, there's a reason why I'm taking all these little screws out. This does not have your factory lock-in, lock-out hubs on it. This truck's got a set of warrants. I've had these warrants in here since. I bought the truck in 09. I put the warrants in in 2010. 
whenever he built these warms, it was wide for ready. And one set I sent back to the factory on warranty. Was that I couldn't put it, those I catched in the video. I had the whole dang thing disintegrate. Your factory lock in, lock out hubs, and when you guys start turning when you guys start seeing the tear into this. This truck's missing a lot of stuff that should be on it, which is removed. Because the uh, old lockout system on these trucks, the factory setup, is vacuum control. If anybody knows anything about vacuum, you do any heavy duty off roading, vacuum fails. And then you lose your front hubs, and then you lose four wheel drive. Let's say in there on the dash, when you pick it in, because this is an electronic four-wheel drive truck. Oh, you should have four-wheel drive. Well, I didn't. So I stuck the golf tee. I'll make it easier. Oh, shit, it's still loose. Oh. what happens when you lock your hubs in and never disconnect them. So, um, I want to try to get all this in one shot. So, um, but yeah, when your hubs go, when you guys sit there and rock them back and forth, heck yeah, what's your job? Or in my case, the pry bar. starting to rain. Oh. Wonderful. 